secondhand coat I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat I tell my daddy not to be depressed All I need for happiness is the best I want a dime and nothing else has appeared And when it comes to men, you know how I feel I want a real man Give me a real man, you know what I mean You're what I need. Hey, hey, what's up? Everyone well, act like we're talking a little bit. And, uh, we uh, are. Yes, well, there's a lot of talk. Good to see you, man. And uh, all right, let's try not to suck. Oh, my God. Hey, welcome to Real Men. I'm your host, Tim Steves. We have a great uh, panel of all-star yackers to get this baby going, so let's introduce them. Joining us today, Tim Reichert is here. Welcome, Timmy. Good to see you, man. Good also uh, joining us, Ted Dykstra. Always a pleasure to be on the show. Nicely hey, said, Ted. Story. You chose that carefully. Dwayne Hill, the effervescent Dwayne Hill is Ooh, here. Me. And uh, Kate Ashby. Always a pleasure to be on the show. Nicely done, Wait Kate. I think you stole that. And a very special guest, Jason Priestley, is joining us today. Woo! Nice to see you. God, what a bunch of ass kissers you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're great. To get this first segment. <laughs> that was witty. I love you. To get work. this first segment kicked off, we're going to throw it over to Kate Ashby for a commentary. Oh, Kate. A couple of years ago, I was at a lingerie party, and we were playing a game called the hat game. And from one hat, you pulled what you'd be drinking. From the other hat, you'd pull what you'd be wearing. And from the third hat, you pulled a question. So I'm standing there in my black licorice underwear drinking tequila, and my question is, who was your first love? And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and then I realized that the first man that I was in love with was my father. When I was a little kid, I was so in love with my father, I used to just follow him around the house. I laughed at everything he said, and I even asked him to marry me. And he told me that uh, fathers and daughters can't get married, and uh, at some point I would want to marry somebody else. And he said, when that time came, there was one bit of advice I had to follow. He said that I had to get him good and drunk, good, good and angry, I'm sorry, I had to get him good and drunk, good and angry, and then I had to see who he became. And if I could live with that, then that would be the man for me. Tim? Thanks, Kate. So get the guy good and piss tanked, and then you'll find out what's really going on. Right. I see, I see you working. Oh, you piss drunk and angry. Piss drunk and angry. You gotta get angry, too. And then you find out what's really happening with yes. the guy, right? Okay, well, that's fair Why enough. I can see you working. Next we're to we're right. And uh, joining us right off the top of the show, Jason Priestley's here. Nice to see you, Jason. Thank you. Nice to see you, too, sir. Thank, I'm, thanks for coming I'm, in. I'm curious about the black licorice underwear. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen those before. Are they actually made out of black licorice, or are they just a black licorice color? They were, they were a black licorice color. Oh, okay. And yeah. edible? Right. And you, you could get edible, but this was a lingerie party right. where you went and bought all the Crotchless? Shirts. There was crotchless of that kind, right, right. yes. But you weren't wearing the crotchless no, at the time. No, I wasn't at the time, okay. no. Man, are we off topic. Is Jason, <laughs> this is, this is before we, get, here. Yeah. Hey, man, before we get to the father-daughter relationship thing, we had to get the specs on the underwear. <laughs> so that's fair enough. Well, I mean, come on. It's, it, uh, you know, no, what's she the, mentioned, what's, she what's, mentioned what's licorice the show underwear. called? There's a chick on the show who mentioned she's into black licorice panties. I think we owe it to ourselves and the audience to actually discern what exactly that is. No question about it. And is it all underwear edible? I mean, when you think. Okay, let's do the Hey, just for fun, let's do the father-daughter thing for the segment, all right? Oh, okay. Jason, you have a sister, you were telling me before. I have a sister, yes, I do, sir. So, uh, how is her relationship with your dad, as far as uh, you can tell? Well, I mean, I, mean, I think that, I, I think, you know, you know they, say that, they say that the most difficult relationships within, within a family uh, are, the, are the father and the daughter and the mother and the son. They, they are the most difficult ones, and, uh, and, and in a lot of ways, probably the most important ones, because, uh, because they sort of, you know, your relationship, as a child, your relationship with your, with the, the, your parent of the opposite sex seems to seems to have an impact on the rest of your life Absolutely. and how you deal with the opposite sex. Absolutely. Do you can do you notice or have you noticed when you're with a woman and I'm talking long term not talking one night standy stuff but when you're with a woman in a relationship does it make a difference if she's had a bad relationship with her father? Have you guys ever been with a woman who's been, had a bad relationship? Yeah, I think and, a bad relationship with a boyfriend. I, <laughs> what ha, what was what did you notice? I noticed that she was a lot more insecure and that she expected me to behave in the same way, yeah. basically. Yeah. Right. And, and if I didn't behave in the same way, she'd sort of do things to make me start treating her badly. Right. Uh, honestly, yeah, she no. did. She did. 
and that was fun. Let's hear from <laughs> no. let's hear from Dwayne. Well, I know that, Dwayne, that, Dwayne that, must have something loaded up. That's thoroughly depressing. Uh, you know, I, I don't know the whole. I mean, I basically was raised by a single mother, so my father basically, as far as I'm concerned, was more of a sperm donor sort of a situation where he kind of bye. So I, you know, I, and I think that I think that fathers in general, I guess, is because I come from a single parent family are sort of, they can be the fair weather, you know, the fair weather parent. The one who's like, yep, that's my kid getting the home run. But you're a guy. He's adopted, you're that's a, why he struck you're out. You're a guy, Dwayne, right? So it's very different for a woman. To, to have a, for a woman, like, so you had a good relationship with your mother, right? Uh, yes, somewhat. Right. Well, Do you have good I, relationships with women? Uh, I, have, I, yeah, I tend to. You know, I mean, it's, it depends on what you bring to the table, right? I mean, exactly. Like we're talking about past relationships. If a woman has, you know, has had several bad past relationships, I personally have had great relationships. I've been very lucky that not to date people as nutty as myself. Hundreds of them, right? <laughs> Hundreds of great relationships. <laughs> Hundreds of and as soon as I learn Thai, <laughs> I'll know exactly what they were saying. <laughs> Timmy Riker, <Hundreds> <laughs> excellent six-hour relationships, <laughs> perfect. Tim Riker, you're conspicuous in your absence here, man. I just, I, as far as learning is concerned, I've always thought that the fathers probably learn a lot more from the daughters about women that they didn't know before, you know? Yeah, they, yeah. they learn about women when they meet a grown-up woman, but watching a woman grow from a child into yeah, a woman, yeah. I bet by the end of it, the father knows a lot more about women than he knew before just from being married. Tim, yeah. do you think uh, if, if, uh, if you guys had a baby, you and your wife, would you, would you be thinking, I hope it's a boy? I'm, like all guys, I'm fearful of having a daughter, oh, yeah. only for the reason because I know what guys are like. And nobody wants to go through that and have to bring there their daughter a, through there puberty. There is a period in which men are just all testosterone and focused on one thing, awkward sex with a virgin. Exactly. <laughs> Making sure her first experience is painful, awkward, and just fills journals of information. And, and that feeling like, never Jason, goes away. Hold on now, yeah, Jason. But also, wait a minute, I'm 13 and all I ever focus on is awkward sex with a virgin and her name is Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> just like every other man in the world. And, and you know, you know. Uh, She's not a virgin, I heard. A vir what are, a hey, what are you talking about? I saw the cover of the paper yesterday. Is Britney too sexy? And now, first of all, I have to say to, to, the, to the editors of the, of, the, of the Sun, the paper here, get over yourselves, man. May I apologize is Britney too for sexy? On, like, how know. colonial and yeah. uptight and yeah. anal retentive yeah. is getting, that? She's getting a little on the Victorian side. Yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's embarrassing. Yeah. We should ask ourselves as a society, what is too sexy? Right. Well, you know, yeah. she's, she's the, you know, in the Virgins with Implants group, which okay. is actually a very. They meet we just every can't Monday. Stay on fathers and daughters, man. <laughs> getting, no matter, no matter okay, what. Let's get out of here. She's getting too much put in her back. Hold it. Hold it. We got to get out of here. That's. They had a hard time staying on the fathers and daughters. They were all over the road, but that's okay. When we come back, we're going to sashay. We're going to segue gently into from father-daughter relationship to John Hooker relationship. Does a real man go to a prostitute after this? Hey, welcome back to the show. This segment, we're going to talk about prostitution and who could set the table any better than my man, Dwayne Hill. Oh, Dwayne. Oh, thank you, Tim. That threesome was great. I wish you hadn't rubbed our ends together. You know, prostitution, do real men go to them? Yes, of course they do. They just don't tell real women, because real women will scratch their eyes out. I mean, let's face it, the only thing that stops men from having sex is women. And if the only thing that stops me from having sex with a beautiful woman is money, well, I just won't buy any video games or Cheetos for a month, and we'll sleep together. It'll be lots of fun. I mean, it's the oldest profession in the world. I mean, that and farming. And, you know, it's probably invented because of farming. Oh, boy, what a terrible day. I think I'm going to hire a woman to have sex with me. Not a sheep farmer? No, I wish I was, though. It'd be cheaper. I mean, you know, what makes a better story at the end of the day? Uh, I tilled six fields or, uh, oh, I slept with this really weird guy who pulled a box cutter on me. I mean, that's prostitution. I, you know, if you can get a rub and tug, for 60 bucks, you've got masturbation material for the rest of your life. Am I right, Tim? Am I right, Tim? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I, you, uh, you lost me twice, you got me back, you lost me again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Tim? I, must be, a, I don't I, even know where I to don't go. Know. I must be the perfect man. Really? Because I, I, I just, I, I have never, ever, <laughs> have I thought about it? Yeah, when I was single and I was lonely and it had been a while and I had 100 bucks in my pocket that I could easily burn in exchange for sex with a beautiful woman. But when it got down to making that decision, am I going to go for them? Am I going to make the call or not? It came down to, I just don't think it would work for me, sex with a hooker, because honestly, and I, I'm not just sucking up to women, but sex is nothing to me if there's nothing in it for the woman. If she's not Oh, totally I'm getting a toothache. It, Ted? I, 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 I hate to get even sweeter, but I agree with you. I don't, I've never done it, and I, I used to think I never would, but then the, the longer you stay married, the more you kind of go, well, if you ever did ever want to scratch that itch, 
it would be better with a prostitute because it wouldn't be a relationship. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't right. be someone you're I, I working say, with. It yeah. wouldn't be, you know. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm, so. totally the, I'm totally the same school of thought. In all seriousness, I was raised by a single mother, and she said, you know, make, you know, when you're with, in bed with a woman, they get they have so many crappy partners. Be good. And I love to, to make to make a woman orgasm. I love to bring her to orgasm, even if it's fake. At least she's putting the effort in. Um, <laughs> but I do. And the whole prostitution thing. I mean, as far as married guys go, everybody I know that goes to these rub and tugs is married guys, and it's not even, you know, has nothing to do with her pleasure. Basically, it's from here down. That they're paying for it's this right. it's this turbo thrust where it's like zick, 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 zick. that was uh, forty five bucks. Then the guy's like, I feel awkward. I'm gonna call my kid. Not you just know? demonstrations with Dwayne. Total sound effects. Sound, sound effects. <laughs> Full sound I, effects. I went home to but, uh, Cornwall, uh, where I'm from, uh, about three years ago. A lot of hookers in Cornwall. A lot of hookers. Both in Cornwall. of them. <laughs> and uh, a friend of mine, a very, right, very good friend of mine, was really depressed and had been in a rut and hadn't, hadn't had a job for a, uh, a long time. And he was really, really depressed. And I was taking him to Montreal with my boyfriend. And uh, I said to him when we got to Montreal, we, I, was, I had some cash. And I said, I want to, like, just this is going to be just a weekend to make you feel better. Like, what do you want? Good. And he said, I want to have sex with a prostitute. So we went on, and Montreal well, is that, a... That, that probably wasn't that the response you were looking no, for, No, because I, I was with a guy. He's not going to have sex with me. I was, I'm with somebody. Oh, okay. Okay? So, so uh, I, I thought that was a really... I, he just wanted to get laid. He so wanted to have sex. So you helped him out and yeah. drove him me, to Montreal? Hold on, hold on, hold on Jack there. Jason, can, oh, no, no, yep. can we get a guest? In? I mean, Jason, you're being hey, too polite. You, just hey, leap no, on I these guys. I want to hear the rest of this story now. This is a good story. We go to Montreal, we walk the streets, and Montreal's a great place to find a prostitute if you ever are looking. Yeah, beautiful. I love the way she looked right at me. And if you ever want to find a prostitute. Montreal. And uh, he found this woman, and they went away. She's got you confused with Charlie Sheen. I get it, man. What, what are you talking about there, Chiefy? Uh, you know, yeah. you're the Heidmeister, dude. You know, yeah, okay, go ahead. Anyway, he had sex with this woman, and he went were you back there? home. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Did he, he take went... pictures? No. Video? No. Nothing? Okay. No, 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 no. He, we Weren't did... you curious? I was. Okay. But, uh, okay. And, uh, did you listen at least? No, it was okay, on a sorry. whole get, other... Let her get through oh. the damn but, story. It's like Aaron Sorkin dialogue. Come on. You better say breasts. Breasts. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, so he, but he was changed after that. Like after he had had sex, he, he went back home. He felt better. He, it was like he, it was exactly what he needed. There was the service he could have it. It was wow. great. Masturbate with a wig on your head. I don't get it. Don't Jason, get it. Jason, Charlie it Sheen. It worked for him. Uh, Charlie she Sheen says he pays them to leave. That's it. Yeah. That's my point. Well, 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 I mean, th this goes back to what my man here was saying about you know. You, so if if you ever felt the need to scratch that, it's you, you know it's probably best to do it with a prostitute because you you don't pay them to come over and. And have sex with right. you. You pay them yeah. to leave immediately afterwards and ask no questions and, and not get emotionally right. involved. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I, 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 in talking with with guys like like Charlie, I mean, uh, you know, because he he actually he actually has said and, and said to me, he said that you know, I know why am I always talking to Brittany over there? <laughs> I love your head stat. Um, <laughs> it, 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 that, that his his whole thing was like it was cheaper for him to pay hookers to come over than to deal with like the, the yeah. you know the yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah, the palimony Heidi suits Blythe. and the women that yeah. Yeah. that's right. Yeah. Heidi Fleiss. Well, there's College dinner, educated there's, girls. there's the lawsuits afterwards, yeah, and the DNA yeah. testing is very expensive. <laughs> no matter what they're they going to cross their legs and keep it first. Jason, Jason how, in Hollywood, the Heidi Fleiss thing and everything. Do you think that's really prevalent in the industry? There, there, there has been a madam in Los Angeles in Hollywood uh, forever. And uh, right. before it was Heidi, it was another woman. Madam um, to the stars, you mean? Yeah, there's like a madam to the stars. Of course, I don't have her number. No, I but never it's great did, if, but I know guys yeah. who do, and, and who, you know. But if you're an executive I, and you want to fill a party with beautiful women, you're going to pay. You know, whatever, two thousand bucks a pop, yeah, and right. they're gonna leave as soon as you're done having sex with your guests. They're gonna leave like they're gonna turn into sandwiches and six packs, and it's almost the perfect world. It yeah. really is yeah. <laughs> because you don't want these girls to go. I'm keeping the sperm. I'm right, crossing right, my legs. Exactly, I'm running right. home. I was right. doing comedy at a police convention <laughs> in Kelowna one time in a hotel. The entire hotel was cops. I do the show. After the show, we're back at the hotel. The cops are partying it up. It's one of those hotels with a big pool in the middle atrium. The cops are partying <laughs> up. They're getting drunk. About a couple hours later. The whores arrive, a bus full of them. It's a police convention, a busload of whores. Of course, who's going to know the best whores? Yeah. But the cops, right? They bring in a busload full of them, and they have this disgusting party. Ten seconds. That's it. We're going to jump, jump, we're gonna jump out on busload of whores. Yes, right. that's Tim Reichert, the poet laureate of Canada. We're coming right back after this. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, welcome back to the show. We're joined with special guest Jason Priestley. And this segment, we're going to talk about what's a sissy. Are you a sissy? Jason, I was Brian Austin Green. Does he qualify, maybe? What do well, you think? Well, you know, back in the day when he was shorter than me, I would have said, yeah, he's a sissy. But now that he's taller than me, the notorious B.A.G. has to remain non -sissy. He had a growth like, spurt in his 18th he year. He did, man. Like, you know, we started the show. He was this little kid. Right. And, you know, by the time I left the show, he was like 6'2". You know what I mean? Giant. Be Which careful is, who I mean, you label a pussy. He's dunking on you. Exactly. You know, be careful who you lock in their locker when you're in junior high. They're going to dunk day, on you at the pickup game. Next you know thing what you know. I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could grow up and be Kate, a Kate, what do you think makes a sissy these days? Oh, my God. First of all, I think we, what's a sissy? First, like, de de define sissy for me. A sissy is anyone sister? you can get away with calling a sissy. Who? Who? That's a guy, sissy? right? What's a sissy? Anyone you can call a woman in public. get your head kicked in, that's a sissy. That's a sissy. A guy who can't call doesn't object to you calling them a sissy, then it's, they're a sissy. It, it's, it must it's, come from the word sister, and it must mean that you're a girly boy. It's also, you're it's also, yeah. I, 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 read, I read this, I was on this website yesterday, and this woman lives in Spain, and she talked about day-to-day -day life in Spain, and in Spain, you are considered feminine if you do not have a mistress. If you, you have to yeah. basically lie if yeah. you don't have one. Yeah. Uh, wow. And you have to, I mean, if your wife thinks you're feminine if you don't have a mistress. I mean, that's what it's <laughs> like in Spain. Of course, we live in, Ca in Canada where it's like, my penis is getting dusty. Please, we give me attention. We live in where Britney is too sexy. Where Britney is too sexy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Too sexy for who is the question. Jason, that's really in for your craw, isn't it? What? It is, man. I'd rather talk about why. She's what, too what sexy is... for the morals of Canada. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, well, okay, well, okay, well, let's Maybe not, in your U.S. We're, world we're you can have all state. those no, no, breasts. No, no, I mean, well, I mean, well, I mean, let's clarify this. We, we, live, we live in a nation where prostitution is basically legal, where pot smoking is basically legal, where you can go get a rub and tug down on Queen Street for $65. Yeah. Yeah. Yet Britney is <laughs> too sexy. I don't understand. What is Maybe that? Maybe someone could explain this to me. I don't know. You know what I mean? Man. I mean, I mean, we, you know, our, our, our prime minister 25 years ago, his wife was having sex with everyone in the world <laughs> except him, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you know, she was having sex with the Rolling Stones, not one of the members, all of them at once. <laughs> and we all reveled in the fact that we that we were such a forward-thinking nation that our prime minister's wife could have sex with a rock band at once. And now we're going, oh, Britney is too sexy. I'm just wondering, where did the slide happen? Man, you we just lost be... all your good sun press. You're not getting any good press I in the never, sun now. Can't, who can, who can <laughs> get good press in the sun anyway? What's up, Kate? Um, I, just... I figured out what I think is a sissy and a man. Oh, cool. Let me know. Okay. Um, I think that any guy who wears a belted leather jacket is, is a sissy. That <laughs> belted leather jacket. Ooh, a fashion stain. Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, geez, the venom is out today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, somebody yeah. took your parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Or Dwayne, how do you keep your money? How do I keep my yeah, money? How does your money sit in its in your pants? How does it sit how in my does your pants? Money sit in your pants? I don't know what that means. What, how you do you keep wallet. your money? Do you have a wallet? No, I don't. Oh, okay, good. Do you have a wallet? No. Okay, interesting. Do you have a wallet? I have a wallet. Do you have it on you? Yes. Let's see it. You want me to pull yeah. it? Yeah. Kate, Kate's got a thing oh, about the pulling wow. out You're in trouble. of the wallet. She's wow. got a pull here. Ew, 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 ew. Here's my wallet. Oh, yeah. What's the problem? Gold card, Kate? baby, huh? Nah. Ooh, a gold oh, card. And a Safeway club. See, and a Safeway club card. Right next to the second the gold card. Right Safeway club card. Right next to the Safeway club card. Maybe I'm being sarcastic, but you're gold card. you pull out your money. Oh, I don't have my money in my wallet. Money's in the front pocket. Uh, see, oh, see, that's okay. a that's Vegas. correct that's, move. That's, Timmy, that's a good what's your move? point? Jason, hang, on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang hang on. on. I got, I got, I got a wallet. I got a wallet. Let's see. And what's your point, Kate? What's your wallet? Yeah, what's your wallet? Here's my wallet. See, here's my platinum card. My money's in my in platinum. That's not a Safeway card, Timmy. Right, right here. You say money in Safeway? The little roots fold over. It's a sweet little play, man. This is the sexiest way for me. This is not sissy. This is their cards like this. The money's in the pocket. I can't stand going to dinner with a guy and he pulls out his wallet and he opens it up. And if it's Velcro, if it's Velcro, it's even worth. And why are you dating teenagers? He tugs it out like this. He tugs it like this. Like it's attached to yes, something. Yes. Like it's like, oh. That's all sissy. And <laughs> pulling my foot. <laughs> and if he goes into the little change section at all no, in the wallet. No. If, if there is a change section, a, take change, the testicles. Run. Purse. One at a time. Oh. One at a time. A change purse. One of those little things that, that hey, you, who you are dating? have for your change. Kate. Yeah, it's true. Kate, what about the dreaded little pouch around the ass? The little pouch. Oh, the belly bag. pack. The belly bag. pack. The belly pack. 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 Yeah. At the exhibition, at a concert, I can handle that. At the fanny pack, when we go for a nice meal, no. No. Like, <laughs> no, unless it's, unless it's prescription. The guy's <laughs> tipping, <laughs> he's tipping the limo I driver out of the fanny pack. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, stay, you gotta stop dating ADs, man. I mean, that's... <laughs> 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 that's assistant director for you <laughs> folks watching at home. Oh. That's an inside <laughs> industry <laughs> joke dropped on us by Jason Priestley. Oh. we got about 30 seconds left. 
I'm sorry, that was an industry joke. <laughs> you have to be in the biz. That was that, that was too sexy for our you're Canadian too audience. Sexy. Yeah, you're too sexy for this show. Oops, I'm too sexy again. for this puritanical show. That's why you left. That's it, I'm leaving. You're no sissy. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to come right back with one more segment. Are Jason you a left sissy? For his home planet. If you I took, to yeah, no, what no. are you? Jason Priestley joins us. Coming right back. A couple more minutes. I don't know. Welcome back to Real Men, where men get real. We've been joined by Jason Priestley today, and he's been sharing too. He didn't come oh, in here. Guys, you know, he just, didn't come in here to clam up. No, but. no. Let me let, let me just apologize for dominating the conversation and having such, such a such a horrible rant about the uh, puritanical views of the Sun newspaper. I, I really do apologize. No, that was fine. I, I hope you'll have me back next episode. That's the kind of thing we like to hear. We'll you know, we'll that's have great. You back. All right, we'll good. Have you back. As long Thanks. as you crush the Sun again, man, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> I actually own the Sun. You know, sissy, man. And can I get a ride home later? Ted, yes. you, you, well. you're a theater dude, you're, you know, you're, you're, pretty, you're an artsy guy. Have you been, ever been accused of being a sissy? Um, like when you were getting your hair cut. I, <laughs> <laughs> I get accused of being a sissy on this show all the time by the other panelists because I'm from the theater and I'm a sensitive man. Uh, and a smart man. Who, yes, and I'm a good dancer. Um, <laughs> so you're I'm a triple like, threat, I'm really. a triple threat. Yeah. Yeah. Or a three strikes. A sissy I mean, is how you anyone look at who's it. in the theater. I'm the only man who didn't cry when I got a perm. <laughs> Sissy's a pass. I'm the only man who didn't cry when I got a perm. I don't think you're a sissy That's at go all. Away. I don't go think away. Sissy's, sissy's a pass on word. Every guy's been cool. called a sissy. Every, every guy's felt like a sissy. And the only way to not be a sissy is to call some other guy a sissy and get away with it. I don't think I've ever been called a sissy. Like, really, a sissy. You're a sissy. Let me, let me introduce in you. Theater, in theater, you're a lumberjack. Sissy. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> sissy. That hurts. That's not very nice. See? Do you have? Do you, do you have? You, know, you guys are also evolved. We all get called it. You know. can, can, can we get back to like some Iron John stuff? You know what I mean? Like go out in the woods and have a fire. Peeing Absolutely. contest. You know what I mean? Uh, have, we lost, have we, have we lost our balls? So have we lost our balls, Jason? Absolutely, man. Society's emasculated men in the last 20 years. It's Absolutely. embarrassing. Yeah, it's totally horrible. Right. We gotta get back and, to the land. Yeah, man. Or, 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 or at least like go out, go out and play some pickup hockey and get in a fight. Anything I, for Christ's sake. I was pricing a penis reduction last week, and they're cheaper than ever, which shows there's demand to reduce. Your penis. Right. See, and, uh, see, I'm not buying that. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, we got, we got about 15 bucks. seconds. Go. Let's give Jason the last word. Any keep, last thoughts for the sun, keep, maybe? Keep, keep me apologizing. The, to give me the last. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no, wait, look, I'm not apologizing for anything. And if you except if you, for Velcro wallets. And if you don't want to be a sissy, you have to go and get one of those little roots, double side, just a card holder. Okay, we got to get out. Keep your money in your wallet. You have a money clip, money left clip. front pocket. We're gonna get out on that. Thanks <laughs> for tuning in to Real Men. Thanks to Jason Priestley for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> now we know what Kate's version of a real man. Yeah. That's yeah. important. Keep the money in the pocket. Well, 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 okay. First, first of all, what money in the front pocket?